choosing to use toilet paper because it's, it's a little bit thinner and see how that works like it's a peeled book so we'll see how that turns out is that just mod podge and toilet paper mod podge and toilet paper okay cool under the edges well i finished putting my toilet paper on there and i decided i wanted the edges build up so i'm using some of this leftover stuff that we've made out of toilet paper and glue and joint compound joint compound yeah, yeah. and i'm kind of making snakes laying it on there and then pushing it out to make the edges a little bit thicker huh okay jenna talk to me about how you got this look i took um i painted it all black and let it dry and then i took this rose gold antiquing paint and I put it on my brush and I feathered it on this and then I just kind of highlighted with it in the colors that I wanted places I wanted it to be. I took my eye and I covered it with plastic wrap so that I could preserve the eye from getting painted when I do it and I'm starting to mold my eye with tinfoil foil hot gluing it down Okay, I just put some different ribbons. I put it like a little braided leather piece here. And this is was an orange little... Do you have a piece of that? I added some lace. I added a pipe cleaner. And I added some other leather there. Looks awesome. Thank you. Look how cool this one is that Janet did. Look at the braided leather. leather. Really like the details and love the green glitter added up here. Very cool. This one reminds me of Harry Potter, Potions and Brews. Tana Hazelton did this one. Love the finish on the pages. Very cute. So I'm actually using water and drizzling it down the pages before I start my book because I want the pages to kind of look very aged and used. So I'm hoping that this will cause the pages to really ripple. Um, this is pretty nice book so the pages are really high quality so I think it's going to take quite a bit of water to get it to ripple but that's the theory. Christy how are you texturing your book? I am just working on the initial layer of texture with Mosh Podge and little tiny pieces of toilet paper. Okay, we found these really cool dragon eyes at Michael's so we bought them they came in a little pack of four. Uh, I'm actually going to use mine on my book. So you can see, last time you saw it, it had the toilet paper. I went outside and used the same technique I did with my witch shoe. Witch shoe. So I went out and spray painted the base rose gold. And then I used some a little tiny bit of blue, mostly in the corners. And then I also sprayed right over the top of the blues with that kind of grayish color. So now I want to build up an eyelid over the top of the eye so that it looks like a dragon. And we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try it with um, tin foil, And then probably use painter's tape to cover the eye and probably spray it again since the tin foil is kind of the easiest thing to cover with spray paint. Okay, Tristy, talk to me about what you're doing. I'm trying to create a dragon eye. And so, kind of like the witch's shoe, I'm That's using cool. um, tin foil to kind of create the base shape of it. And we want to we're, we're trying to narrow out the eyes so it becomes more like a cat eye or a dragon eye. We're going to build just a little bit more up here, and then we're going to put some fun little spikes out, and then paint it. Okay. All right. Again, I'm using some of that clay. So I've done all the work with the aluminum foil. In fact, actually, we started to do some aluminum foil balls, uh, but then we changed to the clay. Now I'm using the clay to make the eye look like it's coming out of the book. So I'm just using it, pressing it against the 
um, aluminum foil and kind of blending it down into the book itself and then into the some of the cracks that you can see and then I'll let it dry and paint there's a sneak peek of another project don't you need this for your witches table some brown water on these pages to make it look old and worn out and I love it look at yes, how much this one awesome. is opening up yep. it's an old cookbook That'll be fun. so cool Dan and Janae talk to me about how you're doing yours we are putting some Mod Podge down on the book and then you've got toilet paper I've ripped it to shreds and just placing it on there just trying to make it look antique -y. yeah this is the book that Janae Briggs did. Very cool. Again, Drag and I love the combination of the books. And one of my favorite things is the way she did the pages. She wet them all so that really weathered the book. It's an old cookbook, but I think it turned out stunning. We're making a dragon book today. A what? A dragon book. We're using trainer's tape, oh. and we're going to make it really old. And does your hand fit really good in there? Yeah, see, it works. Oh, it does. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and it just goes like this. And you just put it on, on this, and, and you just swap it on. No, I just. And what did I tell you about the edges? Wee, wee. What we got to do with the edges? Uh, put the tape on. I'm push the edges down. Okay. We're going to paint it with purple, and, and then we're going to paint it with blue and, and that color, and, and some green is in there, right there. Yeah, Grandma. And we're going to need that with purple. Yeah, because we're going to make the, the paint rainbow. Yeah. It's getting cool. Are you liking that? Yeah. Whoa. Well, we'll wash. Don't worry. Oh, I made it. Oh. What kind of book is this, Goose? It's going to be a dragon book. A dragon book? Yeah. Nice. And it's going to be kind of green and purple and blue. All right. And Sounds purple. good to me. Yeah. We did it like this so because, because that's how dragons do it. We're going, we're going to do a dry dragon, yeah. Oh, okay. What are yeah. we doing next? Next we're going to use silver. Okay. Yeah. And right there and, and I paint on there and then I walk out in there. And then it went so sparkly. It looks so sparkly on your book? Yeah. Are we, are we letting it dry now? Yeah. Oh, I like it. It looks like a real dragon. Then what are you going to do after it dries? I'm going to put some blue on it. This on it. And then I'm going to put some blue paper on it again. Okay. Yeah. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're putting some sprinkles on, on our dragon book. Oh, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, that's that's glitter, huh? I think it's pretty good. We're hoping that it's still wet enough that some of them will stick. What you doing, Bean? Yeah. Tell Mom what you're doing. I'm painting the snake. You're painting in black or silver? Black. Oh, very nice. I like it. Yeah, and I can get it off. Yes, Pull them off of your hand. Then we'll go wash your hands. Here we go. He's going to be part orange, part black. Oh, pretty good. I he, can't paint it. I like him. He looks pretty scary. I don't need any help. I don't need any bagel. I'm going to put it by, by the snake. By the snake. Okay. Right there. And then, then, and then the next one is going to be right here okay, on the Okay, tell me where. Why? There. Right there. Right there. Here or there? There. Here? No, right here. Right here. Okay, push it down. 
Good girl. There we go. Good job. And next is the sweet. Should we put him right side up, though? Should we put him like that? Yeah. Okay. Bye bye, the snake. Why? Okay, right there. This guy's hot. Right there? Yeah, right there. Okay, he's staying. And next, what? You need another spider? Uh, next, we're going to do tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we did more paint. Lily, how are you deciding what stuff to put on your book? I'm deciding we're going to put those, and then, and then I'm, I'm thinking we're going to put this on. Oh, Where are we going to put this guy? Come on, he's got glue on him. Where is he going? Is it done? Yeah, it's done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and there's a, more stickers over there. Turned out pretty cute, Miss Goose. And there's more stickers over there you can look at.
Let me put your glue in. He's got glue on him. Right there? Yeah, right there. I might want to put some. What? Ooh, you're hot. Careful, baby juice. These are hot buggers. Do we need another snake over there? Yeah. Or we need a spider over there? We need another snake. 